Hi, er, hello. I think this is the earliest upload I've ever done. Well, not not earliest upload, like earliest upload in like the time. Right now when I'm recording this is six and it's uh, six forty eight AM. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm recording this very early, so I think the and the video will be very early too. Unless it's long. This is unless it's long enough to not be the earliest one. This is the book where we will stop up, so let's begin. On the 24th of January, 2024. As a reference to my previous quote, this is how new announcements can be incorporated. Julie Berry could be used on Connect and Emma Hines on Waterline. However, I do understand it needs funding. I have a solution for this. People will spend more on the game after 2.0 if they want to buy points. What? How does that work? Why do they want to buy points? That doesn't make sense. This means the developers get more Robux. Before you say it, you can't pay a voiceover artist with Robux. Yes, I know that, so what the developers can do is use the DevX feature and use the money from that for new announcements. Say your opinion is in this in the in this uh, uh, in this in the comments. 2.0 may not necessarily pay a lot more and they need to pay their own team first. That would still be a waste of money on announcements that are rather fine. Okay, what are you thinking? I think the best, but it doesn't suck. When you can pay your developers better and it is pointless to do so. Also, accounting for the fact that people don't also buy points that you have to pay for the team, Julie and Emma may cost too much. We have said before we do not need new announcements. If you want them, turn off announcements when you want the people on and use your own recording. I think you may post on this topic four or five times now. I think you need to understand that this is just the way it is, and I doubt they will spend money on these masses that are really fine as they are. Uh, I think post about an uh, post about announcements from from this guy uh, from this guy might be uh, uh, might slowly become more common than post from uh, post from post from the same guy about third rail. Yes, I agree. They need to pay the developers, but many players will return after 2.0, meaning more profit. Oh, that's a lot. N that's a long text. Ah, I see. I mean, not text. Well, whatever. Like, uh, hmm. 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 Uh, this is a, uh, this is a very long comment. Yes. Ah, I see what you mean. The developer of Beast Web Simulator doesn't want it. He makes roughly 84,000 GBP a year. Or 200,000 GBP a, a day. Oh, wait, 230 GBP a day. Sierra's an, uh, an roughly 400 CPU. Beast Web Simulator has around 13,000 CPUs. But spiked around New Year's up to 98,000. Bee uh, swarm is about is around two hundred thirty times as large as SDR, which means according to my calculations, they make one GBP a day. It's probably going to be higher than this, so I'll give them a ten GBP or five thousand two hundred GBP a year. When version one point ten was released, the CCU went through the roof to one thousand two hundred players. And this is roughly four times as high as any any other day. The high power did drop after the initial release. This means that they made forty forty dollars of GBP that day. After all, we're being generous, and players will most likely buy points now as there are new trains. If we say 2.0 has a similar hype of around 1,600 players, uh, the SCR team will make around sixty GBP sixty dollars of GBP. The reason why is larger than last time. Points are more expensive, larger player base, slightly more like to display ratio, etc. etc. Basically, when 2.0 releases, they'll make uh, they'll they'll have maybe sixty dollars of GDP per day. I suspect that the high would last two to three days, so one to twenty to one to eighty dollars of GDP after the initial release of 2.0. This may be enough or not enough to purchase a voice actor. Actor, I've given SDR quite the advantage, though, as I gave them a. 
an ex attendee says one million dollars would give you to your days in Seymour. So that's the Roblox team. So who knows how much they're earning? Due to the advantage I have given them, they will most likely go on their own money for a paper dust. I know what it is. As these calculations are not abstract, and please correct me if I didn't make them wrong. I will be surprised if my calculations are awfully wrong, especially on the SCR earnings part. Uh, these forms has gained taxes that lots of players purchase compared to SCR. Once again, it probably makes more money, although most of them are one time purchase, so take that as you would. Where are you getting all these numbers apart from player numbers? That's obvious from rollingwomps.com. It has been told about game CP CCU history. For the thing about BSS's income, these form simulators income that was that was just a Google search. Rollingwomps only had the data for the one thing that wasn't that. Google is not a source. That's a search engine getting its content from other sites. So once again, what are the sources here? Here, here's a here's a link I use. You start for the confusion and the misinterpretation on my end. Okay, that probably isn't a great source. One at face reveal has one has done a face reveal check. Uh, check one at age, real name, Twitter, net worth, bio, children, family, wife. What? What is the link? What is what was the link? Why, why does the link, why is the link this? Please don't trust everything you see on the internet blindly. It is full of inaccuracies and a source for his net worth that does not even exist. How did we go from talking about a new voice for the Alberta analysis to a completely different game? The amount of CR dev leak is very hidden, so it's difficult to get an accurate account. Amount. Hence why I asked where they got the numbers from. Like, if it was public information, I wouldn't have asked. As I said in my first comment, I wouldn't be surprised if my calculations are awfully wrong. I very much thought that I was. This was all just a little calculation I did on the earnings of SCR, which are most likely incorrect. <coughs> That's, that was seven minutes of just one post. And a very long comment. Okay, on the on the twenty fifth of January, twenty twenty four. Suggestion: Add natural disasters in SCR, including what live weather. I'm kind of getting tired of the sunny weather in SCR. It's always the same weather every day. I think adding more weather conditions and maybe even a, a, a point zero one percent chance of a natural disaster will happen. Weather conditions include cloudy, partly sunny, partly cloudy, mostly cloudy, mostly sunny, rain, snow, hail, drizzle, and heavy rain. Natural disasters include major blizzard, winter storm, flash flood, tornado, hurricane, thunderstorm, dust storm, or snow snowfall. I think I think so. Uh, some should be. Uh, so should there should be more common than others, and and not everything should be a point zero one percent chance of happening. I mean, I don't I don't think the U uh, the UK get uh, gets a lot of hurricanes or like or tornadoes. Thunderstorm probably isn't a natural disaster unless it, unless it like uh, unless it like could just there are storms like. It's like a minor that natural disaster, but I don't, I don't know if I can as one. This has more realism, and I think it might be better for SCR. When a natural disaster occurs, the emergency activation system pops up on the screen and shows more details about the harsh weather conditions. Maybe even all the operators will be shut down and drivers cannot drive trains. This will affect all servers at the same time. That, that, that's not a good idea. The natural disaster will make damage or destroy the area so separate. The servers reboot after a natural disaster is gone. It's done, similar to the Pinewood computer core. What is what is the Pinewood Pinewood computer core? This is probably what it looks like. Merge the activation system. A separate weather service has has issued a flash flood warning for Lynn, UK, beginning at 7:51 p.m. and ending at 12:51 a.m. Wednesday, 24th of January. Message from Step uh, Step FM. 
remember, remember that SCR use, use uh, uh, that SCR has has like real British time. Also, it doesn't use PM and AM. Also, they use date, month, year. Uh, I'm pretty uh, yeah. Um, the Stafford does not. Stafford County Railway does not use uh, or use PM and AM. They use military time. And it's uh, and I'm not sure about this. But they probably use day month year, and also and also SCR uses like real uh, uh, like real and uh, real like uh, G British time. So so this so this plus will 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 last in real life in the UK from seven seven fifty one p.m. to twelve fifty one a.m. So wait. oh wait. Uh, it's not how, uh, it's not how much I assumed before. I was just a bit confused. Seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It lasts five hours. That's still a lot, though. Mostly cloudy. Hmm. That's not that's not bad. It looks fine. Example of weather alert message may look like this: The Stafford Weather Service in Lynn, Massachusetts, flash flood warning for. Central West West Wyvern County in southeastern Stafford. Wait, Central West Wyvern County, Stafford. Uh, wait, there's a county in a county. Until ten forty five p.m. CST. Where is CST? Is it? I I have a feeling that that's that's like in the U.S. At seven forty nine p.m. CST. I don't think that uh, in the U.K. I think it's GBT in the U.K. But, but don't quote me on that. Emergency management reported flooding due to heavy rain southwest of Lake Harbor along Benton Creek. FM 3128 at Benton Creek has water on the road due to flooding. Uh, between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall announces 1 to 2 inches are possible in the warned warn area. Flash flooding is, still, is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard. Flush flooding caused by thunderstorm. Source, emergency management reported. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets, and other passes, as well as other port trains and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding to Millcastle and West Wyvern. Turn around, don't drive when encountering flood road. Most flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be especially cautious at night when it is harder to recognize the dangers of flooding. And be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Yes, if they can't drive trains anymore, then they will most likely quit or rage quit. Like, come on, imagine you're in the middle of Willowfield to live and you can't drive the train anymore. That would be so annoying. And also, you're at, like, the end of the route, and then you can't drive a train anymore. You're about to earn your experience, but no. Will we be compensated for our snow? Uh, some of the natural disasters we mentioned above don't doesn't even appear in the UK or even in Europe. Uh, like hurricanes I mentioned earlier. I mean, chances of the natural disaster are very low, but I agree with the fact that drivers rage quit when there's natural disaster moving and you may not get points or experiences. But maybe players might like to watch nat natural disasters destroying the scene. Most likely, this feature would not be added to the game. I'm fine with weather, but I'm not really okay with natural disasters. I can agree that Sunday all day could be boring, but I've def definitely not the guys that. You'll rage quit if you can't drive your train anymore. Natural disasters can happen like a divorce or a UK blizzard happened. Honestly, definitely definitely really not the guy stated that it will just be annoying. The main point of SCR is to drive guard or dispatch, not watch a natural disaster. So it will move players away and discourage driving as a whole. Rainy and cloudy weather will be nice, but I don't think the game would benefit from natural disasters. Bro, it's not like it's Japan when there's a natural disaster every time. <laughs> Or or like the southeastern US. That that happens to there too. As half the wiki community stated above, different weather could, would add a cool level of functionality to the game, but natural disasters won't benefit the game in any way. Fine with the weather, but not fine with the natural disasters, especially how long they last. On the twenty seventh of January twenty twenty four. 
they and six stars again. Let's finish it up for the the announcements. For example, plus a like here for plus I can for plus wait on this plus for plus a plus for for example a separate time for you. You can say yes yeah, for hostage shopping center. And the same house for drug sales, where barely or more than sounds about train the announcer was to say train here for West Live. From Benjamin Port Benson and then by the sea. For example, if you are a barely train arriving up barely, the announcer was to, to say wait on in this platform for a more than sound bound train. If Emma Heineck is at the waterline, she would use a picture more natural sounding announcer style. For example, this is the waterline. The Green Plate. The next station is Green Plate, our final stop. And on all the adventures, uh, she can use her more uh, natural announcer style. Uh, if some kind of style, it will be quicker. For example, this is the train to Parliament. Next stage is Parliament. Where do you? Oh, I hear for you, let's do the Also, my mind, Julie Bear, please, and Janine Poe, her Marshall, and Kevin, to be honest. Again, with the announcements? Hmm. No replies, though. But wait, there's more. On the 27th of January 2024. I know somebody said this. As your destruction of that thing to me could be way better. For example, if you are an a a or airport bound train and there's faulty tracks of Benson Bridge, let's show you to the airport to terminate at Benson or, or change uh, to a Lynn train. The, they could also have power cuts. If you don't know what I mean, listen to this. Power cuts can, uh, could be like the overhead wires being faulty or switched off. Uh, also, imagine being a Neary Harbor train and the station's closed, still flooding as a result. Can you stop with clogging up the discussions by creating hook for stuff that could very well just be handled in existing threads? And while I'm at it, and this is disclosure related, please stop creating a never ending amount of posts for a single topic, too. You've made a total of at least seven posts about the announcements now, and a lot of these could have, been, could have easily been replied to input. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's after he did. Uh, uh, yeah. But wait, there's more. On the 27th of January 2024, they need to add add more realistic motor higher graphics mode for, for in parentheses for some reason. They could be AI cars, AI passengers, some major shops. For example, one with a set from Mall Willowdale Field and Morgantown could be interior to turn on high graphics mode. For AI cars, you need to fix up the mess that is the rows and code that AI passengers could also be done. Now for shops, I think I think it's a bit little pointless coding. This. this may also be a challenge, but otherwise, yeah. But wait, there's more. On the 27th of January, 2024, I have a theory about third rail. What? A Again with third rail. You mentioned this in pretty much every video where, where you appear. If they were removing the class 465, shouldn't they have, say with the announcer, shouldn't they have removed the 444 and the 508, they are probably planning to have third rail to solve this. It's not planning to be in like the, uh, uh, again, it's not being planned to be added. Overhead wires are planned to be added. And I think they're waiting, uh, they're waiting for a train to replace those. The reason why 465 the, the was removed and the others were not is that they had a train that is both more fitting in terms of what the game wants to add and is related to the train it replaces. Third rail would not be coming to the game, and that has been confirmed. It's not that as complex as you wish, to, wish it would be. Hey, Pena, hey, so I don't want to be annoying, but can you show me evidence of the Dutch saying this? I think they said it in like the Trello or something like that. But wait, there's more. On the 27th of January, 2024, imagine if new train liveries were added. For example, XT for Connect 360 livery. Eh, train livery is fine. What? You mean re re refresh the livery? No, I mean like in British Ireland with real train livery. As there does not have any real life operator nor any operator based on in real one, unlike British Railway. The trains could have been shipped to Stafford via Newry Harbor and still kept the old, old Levee area. But wait, there's more. On the 27th of January 2024, trains I want to see. Class 805, by mode has different headlights to 801 and should be on the track. By the time slash 4 on Waterline, 7 slash 5 on Connect, 378 slash 4 on Waterline, 378 slash 5 on Connect, 
375 on connect. 317 on connect. Took time to work on water line. As I think it was worked on Rafael Luckman for root plus two connect more. As I, as it was on greater angle. 315 on connect. Class 756 on connect. I don't get why people want the 755 on connect. Class 231 on water line. 805 on Stepford, uh, Stepford Express, too similar to the 801. Send that flash for more on it, maybe not. Send that flash for on Stepford Central, I mean, no, Stepford Connect, no. 376 for on Waterline, we already have the 379. 378 slash for on Stepford Connect, same bill, uh, same bill with the 377. 375 and 376 on Stepford Connect, same. 317 on Stepford Connect, maybe. 315, maybe not. 756 on Stafford Connect. Not not to start you off, but the reason why people want to 755 on Connect is because it isn't suited for Ireland. 231 on Waterline. Maybe, maybe, but a bit useless. The 379 and 378 are only similar because there are luck for stars. 379 on the faster speed has different headlights and seeing arrangements. The 315 literally ran lines in South and Victoria. The 375, 376, and 378 have similarities, but they all have different top speeds. But wait, there. But wait, while I was recording, there there became more. Two minutes ago, on the twenty seventh of January, twenty twenty four, trains I want for air lanes. Uh, class four four two, class four sixty, class three seventeen, class three two two, class three seven nine might not be added. There's a class three eight seven already on air lanes. Yeah. And it has no comments because it was released two minutes ago. And he was active around 10 minutes ago in the comments of his other post. That'll be it for today's video. Goodbye.